You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rudrance for our Black and White Sports. Well, we've got official word from Dana White on what happened involving Joe Rogan and why he was not calling UFC 271. Now, he doesn't quote unquote say he knows what was going on with Joe. Other than the fact that he made it very clear, I guess ESPN did not cancel Joe. And Dana White and the UFC certainly did not cancel Joe last night. As we know, Joe didn't work. Or was not on the UFC 271 broadcast. There was a lot of speculation that Disney and ESPN wanted him off the broadcast. I guess that was not true. And Dana White has made it clear. Rogan is welcome with the UFC to do any events he wants. Dana White, Joe Rogan could have worked. There was no conflict of schedule. UFC commentator Joe Rogan missed UFC 271, but UFC President Dana White said after the fights that Rogan's absence was of his own accord. At the post-fight press conference, White told reporters that reports of Rogan having a scheduling conflict were untrue and that Rogan could have worked the event if he wanted to, according to MMA Junkies. Quote, there was no conflict of schedule, White told MMA Junkie. Rogan didn't want to, didn't work tonight. Joe Rogan could have worked tonight. Yeah, Joe Rogan, I don't know what Joe Rogan had to do. You guys will have to ask Joe Rogan. But there was no Joe couldn't work or anything like that. I know that came out, and that's total bullshit. Chance of, quote, free Joe Rogan filled the Toyota Center throughout the event. In his plays, commentators Joe Anik, Michael Bisbin, and Daniel Cormier called the action. MMA Junkie reports that Rogan typically only calls domestic pay-per-view events for the promotion, so the next UFC pay-per-view event in the U.S. takes place March 5th at T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. Quote, whenever he's going to work again, he'll be working. Yeah, White speaking on Rogan's future. Rogan faced some heat in recent weeks relating to the podcast side of his career, starting when musicians, artists, Neil Young and Joni Mitchell removed their music from Spotify in protest of past conversations Rogan had with guests on his podcast about COVID-19. The stream service added content advisories, but a short time later, R&B artist Indian Area took to Instagram to say Rogan made offensive comments about race on a recent episode that was, quote, problematic. Oh, God. The brave, stunning, and courageous trigger word. Days later, a resurfaced montage of videos Rogan's past use of the N-word. He issued an apology earlier this month. I wish he hadn't. It was cringy. He apologized and said he would not use the word moving forward. Uh, So, that's it. Dana White did not have him removed. Surprisingly, Disney and ESPN did not have him removed. Joe Rogan just didn't work last night for some reason. And Dana White just made it clear it was Joe's reason, whatever it was. And he doesn't know what the reason was. Interesting. I do think there is, by Joe, some self-awareness that there's a lot of heat going on. And could I see Joe Rogan laying back and going, you know, I don't want to bring this heat on Dana White and the UFC right now. And maybe he decided not to work the event because of that. Um, But at least we know, and we didn't suspect that Dana White canceled Joe Rogan, okay, and that the UFC would have canceled Joe Rogan, and if ESPN and Disney would have wanted to cancel Joe Rogan, it probably would have been an all-out war between the UFC, Dana White, and ESPN. Now, that's a war I would love to see, personally speaking. I wish Dana would get that promotion off of ESPN onto a friendlier platform to people that are pro-America, I'm just saying. Uh, So, there you have it. An update. Joe Rogan wasn't canceled from the event last night, except he canceled himself. Peace. I'm out. 
Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.